The green salamander Aenides Aeneas, is a member of the lungless salamanders, family Plethodontidae. It is the only member of the Aenides genus that inhabits any areas in the eastern half of United States. All other Aenides salamanders are found west of the Mississippi River. Rarely seen in the field, the green salamander is an extremely habitat-specific species that is seldom found away from its preferred surroundings, moist, shaded rock crevices. Topic. Description and taxonomy The green salamander is small and notably flat. Aenides Aeneas's green, lichen-like blotches against a darker dorsum make it the only salamander in North America with green markings. A. Aeneas possesses squared toe tips, large, conspicuous eyes, and a light blue to yellow ventral surface. Adults range from 8 to 12 cm, 3 to 5 in, with 14 to 15 coastal grooves. Currently, Aeneas is the only species of the Aeneids genus found in the eastern United States. Some claim that there may be up to four different species of Aeneids between the Cumberland Plateau and Blue Ridge Escarpment populations, but there has yet to be published molecular data to prove or disbar these claims. Aeneids Aeneas is the only salamander in North America with green markings. Due also to A. Aeneas hyperspecific habitat, it is almost unmistakable when found in the field. Topic. Geographic distribution Aeneids Aeneas is known to inhabit both the Alleghenies and Cumberland Plateau, reaching from southwestern Pennsylvania to northern Alabama and northeastern Mississippi. It is also commonly found in south-central Ohio. Isolated populations are known at the Blue Ridge Escarpment at the junction of Georgia, North Carolina and South Carolina. The range of the Alleghenies and Cumberland Plateau extends southwest from Fayette County, Pennsylvania through eastern West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, the extreme western portions of Virginia, Tennessee, and Alabama. The population discovered in 1930 in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park has not been located since. There may be disjunct populations on Clinch Mountain, on Bays Mountain and the Appalachian Ridge and Valley, and in the inner central basin of Tennessee Redmond and Scott, 1996. Topic. Life history. Aeneids Aeneas is an extreme habitat specialist. This species of Aeneids is found almost exclusively in an environment following these guild lines. A. Aeneas prefers the crevices of rocks on the sides of cliffs or other outcroppings. Most crevices in which A. Aeneas is observed, there is little to no sunlight allowed in. This shade may be due to either vegetation outside of the crevice or outcroppings above the crevice. While a number of instances of Aeneids Aeneas observations in arboreal situations have occurred, most of these instances are in trees either adjacent to rock outcroppings and cliffs, or the specimen in question was located underneath the bark of the tree. Males are extremely territorial toward other salamanders and would be predators when disturbed or presented with any manner of threat. Cup observed aggressive behavior in 45 of 49 instances where a male was placed within an artificial territory of another. Such a high level of aggression is rare in salamanders, and is observed in few other species, though hardly to the degree as observed in A. Aeneas. This aggressive behavior, although in different forms, can also be observed in brooding of the female A. Aeneas over her eggs. While the male A. Aeneas will attack would-be invaders with such actions as budding, snapping, biting or snout pressing, females will often snap at objects placed within the breeding crevice or near the eggs she guards. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Annual cycle of Aeneid's Aeneas. Topic: <laughs> Breeding period. Aeneid's Aeneas has been observed to begin its period of mating and courtship in late May to early June. For Aeneid's Aeneas, the male will enter the breeding crevices and await the arrival of females. Once a male and female meet, the courtship begins. Like some salamanders of genus Plethodon, A. Aeneas begins courtship with the female straddling the base of the male's tail. In this position, and with periodic nudging and encouragement from the male, the two will traverse a small circle within the rock crevice. After some time in this dance, the male will deposit a spermatophore upon the ground and the female, still straddling the base of the male, eventually makes her way to it and scoops it up by lateral undulations and slow movements of the base of the tail of the female. Eggs are laid soon after courtship. The female Aeneas lies on her back within the rock crevice, her ventral surface pressed against the ceiling. Egg laying often takes a period of 20 to 30 hours, where the female will apply an adhesive substance to the surface of the rock, followed by a single egg. Clutches of eggs average 15 to 25 eggs. The female will stay with the eggs, usually wrapping her body around the cluster or at least pressed against it, guarding them for the entirety of development. When presented with a foreign object, be it a wire, stick, or a wandering insect, the female will attack, eating the invader if possible. Female A. Aeneas are not known to feed during brooding. Individuals taken from their eggs had their stomachs and small intestines examined and were all found to be completely empty in Gordon's study in 1971. This guarding period usually lasts three months, where the eggs hatch in September. Topic. Dispersal and aggregation Eggs of Aeneid's Aeneas hatch throughout the month of September. Aeneid's Aeneas is a direct developing salamander, which means it does not have a larval stage and develops to its adult phase within the egg. Juvenile A. Aeneas emerge from the eggs resembling their parents, and will likely leave the crevice in which they were born within two months. Following the hatching of their young, the female A. Aeneas no longer shows the hyper-aggressiveness expressed during guarding. In fact, it has been observed that the females will do little to stop the collection or otherwise disturbance of her brood after they have hatched from the eggs. Newborn A. Aeneas almost always leave the crevice in which they were born and do not return. Topic. Hibernation A period in the annual cycle of Aeneid's Aeneas called the pre-hibernation aggregation takes place in which A. Aeneas will disperse from the breeding crevices. It is during this period, throughout the month of November, that most specimens of A. Aeneas can be observed wandering over and between rock crevices. Following this dispersal, it is thought that A. Aeneas ventures deep within the interconnected crevices of the cliffs and rock outcroppings to hibernate. Attempts were made to find A. Aeneas underground, beneath logs, within rotten logs, under rocks and under tree bark, but not a single specimen was produced. Topic. Post-hibernation aggregation and dispersal Aeneid's Aeneas emerges from hibernation around the month of May. During this period, A. Aeneas is observed wandering about the rock crevices and outcroppings, often during light rains at night. Topic. Conservation. Efforts aimed towards the conservation of such a secretive organism are proving complicated. 
While the fact that Aeneas Aeneas is such a habitat-specific salamander results in more vulnerability to habitat destruction, the cliffs and outcroppings it has chosen are relatively safe from harm. It has been speculated that Aeneas inhabited the ancient chestnut forest that covered a large percentage of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It is not known whether or not Aeneas utilized these trees more or less than its currently preferred habitat, but it is certainly a possibility. In Indiana, the green salamander is listed as an endangered species. <laughs>